Nime, Name, people of Tama, brothers and sisters, uh, good morning or good afternoon to you whenever you are watching this uh, uh, video. I'm Nia Jacob Nada first. I am the Noya Man Chief of Tama and I am a proud member of this clan, this society, this family that uh, gathered today to uh, celebrate the life of one of our great men that lived on this land and stayed with us, you know, for quite a long time and will continue to stay with us in spirit for as long as uh, we exist on this wonderful, fine piece of land and country that we all love. My tribute to the late Tamamanche, Ni Ajay Kraku, is in the form of an attempting to highlight the role of a great son of this soil. Reflecting on the life he lived, my interpretation is that the late Ni Ajay was a traditional authority who played a great historical role with all the commitments and dignity it requires. In my interaction, Ni Manche came across as a leader who had progress of his people at heart. He passionately advocated for and championed the development of Tama people, especially in the youth development. He was always present when invited to witness milestones of the development projects. He mentioned a few times that it was an honor to have lived to see transformation of the Tama port like his father who was present during the building of the Tama port in the 1960s. I must say my relation but the Tama Manchi goes way back to the 90s. Probably the first encounter was when I was the MD of a ship agency called Roro Services, and we had a ship that ran aground. There were few ships ran aground from Maersk, from other agencies, and one of them was actually under our care. And the attention that was received from the traditional council and the team, and the moral and the spiritual support that they have given to us as ship agent and the crew of the vessel itself. Circling the ship day and night, praying for its safe passage and free from the grounding just outside the fishing harbor was something I cannot forget. He was there to break the ground for the first container terminal inside Ghana, that's the TCT. And he was there when President Kufur came to inaugurate it. He was there to see the breaking ground of MPS at Terminal 2, and he was there to see the upgrading of that terminal, and certainly he was at the Tama Harbor expansion project, you know, that was led by MPS, and he broke ground, you know, and he celebrated, actually, this development for the Tama people, as well as the economy at large. And I'm sure he's been there for every industry that came into Tama, and he was there for every development that will yield jobs for the youth. Also, I must say, I have tapped into his wealth of knowledge and wisdom on many occasions. He was ready to provide guidance on matter related to traditional governance, for peace of all stakeholders. He has contributed his part in the development and left behind his legacy for us to be guided with, take examples from, and to teach us how to overcome the challenges that we may face in building this nation. God bless his soul. And now, as we remember his life and the impact that he had on all of us, I know that his spirit will always remain with us. May his soul rest in peace. May the ancestors receive him well. May Allah grant him Jannatul Firdaus. God bless him. God bless Tama. And God bless Mother Ghana. Thank you very much. And God bless you all.